Okay, so this is Lubuntu running on my Raspberry Pi 4 and uh, I did a video on how to install it um, but some people have struggled to install it and also some other people have said that they haven't got a, uh, a wire, access to a wired network. Uh, so what I thought I'd do is try and take a copy of this image and then upload it uh, so it can be downloaded as an image with the desktop and see what happens. So let's give it a go just to show that it's working all right and everything. I haven't done anything to this. Uh, I did try and um, install the Raspberry Pi Imager but it didn't work so I've deleted that. Um, but there's nothing, it's just a clean install uh, of Lubuntu uh, and so all the programs and everything are as they should be. Nothing extra has been added. I haven't customized anything, I haven't logged into anything. So it is as if you've just installed it. If I forget to say later on, the password is Lee PSP Video, so the name of my YouTube channel, and the login is Ubuntu. So uh, let's have a look and see if we can image it. Okay, so I've put my SD card into my Windows computer, uh, and I've downloaded WinDisk Imager, and I'll put a note in the description for that. Uh, and so the file is on my desktop, so let's open that up. So where it says image file, uh, we need to click on the folder here, uh, and this is the name that we're gonna call it. So I'm just gonna call it Lubuntu. I guess I better call it uh, 191001.img. Not sure if I can have a space, so I'm gonna delete the space uh, and hit open. So that's now ready to write that image uh, to, uh, in this case, downloads. Uh, so I'm going to say read, and that's now getting the information. So it looks like it's going to take half an hour to uh, to get all that information from the SD card onto my Windows computer, which should then be an image which we can write with Belena Etcher to an SD card. So I'll see you in half an hour. Okay, so slight change of plan. Um, I wrote the image, the image worked fine, but it was a 32 gig image. Uh, and so for uploading that for people to try and download was gonna be a bit unnecessary. So I looked around to see what uh, SD cards I've got, see what the smallest cards I had were. And uh, the smallest I had was an eight gig card. And so that's what I've written it to. I might be able to get away with a four gig card if I have a look at Partition Manager, that'll tell me. So this card, System boot. Yeah, so it looks it's writable seven gig, used five point. Yeah, so I wouldn't have been able to get away with a four gig card anyway. I did look around, there were ways of shrinking the image before you upload it, but um, they they covered Raspbian and various other things. They didn't cover Ubuntu uh, and the Pi version. There were so many variables that I just thought, I'll do it this way, I'll upload the eight gig uh, card. So before I do that, I'm gonna uh, update, check for updates and do all the necessary updates so that when you download this, it will be more up to date. So let's do full upgrade. Okay, so I've got the image on this uh, Seagate hard drive, uh, which is here, lubuntu.image. You can see my 128 uh, RetroPie from another video in there as well. So what I need to do is choose operating system, go to custom. So I just wanna test it before I upload it to see that it all works. Uh, and I'm gonna put it onto a 32 gig card. So I need to tell it where to look. So Seagate, and I need to click on Lubuntu and open. So that'll then be what appears in here. Choose my SD card. Definitely don't wanna pick my uh, terabyte hard drive. So I'll pick that 32 gig card and hit write. Error writing file to disk. Okay, so that didn't work. So let's try Belena Etcher and see if that will let me do it. So select my image from the Seagate drive, Lubuntu, open, target, it's gonna be that one. Continue and flash. Yep, looks like that's working, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, successfully wrote to the card uh, and it's just starting now. And it looks like it's working okay. It does take a while to load up um, Lubuntu. Once it's loaded, it does seem nice and snappy, but it's certainly not as quick to load up as Raspbian. It always looks like it's gone wrong at this point with the flashing on the top left corner, but uh, generally it's fine. 
Okay, so it looks like it's worked. So let's click on Ubuntu, click on the cog, click on Lubuntu, and then type Lee PSP video. And it's worked. Okay, so as you can see, it boots straight into Lubuntu. Uh, you haven't got to do the whole terminal thing at the start to install a desktop. I've done that for you. Uh, there's nothing else uh, that I've changed, as I said before. If I click on the network bit here, you can see networks are here and you can connect to the Wi-Fi because that's some of the issue that some people haven't been able to do it because they haven't got a, an Ethernet connection at all or not access to an Ethernet connection. So this should help on that. Now I wanted to see if how much space there was. So what's the file? I, used to, I could do it on that partition manager again. So this will tell me how big the card is. Yeah, so 30 gig, so 32 gig card. And it looks like it's all space, doesn't it? Yeah, writable 29.3, used 5.6. Oh, I was fully expecting the partition would have to be enlarged uh, for a different card, but it looks like Belena Etcher just does that for you. I don't know why the Raspberry Pi imager didn't work. Uh, I didn't really try anymore because I, I had another way to write the image and, uh, and Belena Etcher works very well and it works a little bit quicker for me as well. So let's try the upload. Okay, so I've managed to upload the file, uh, all eight gigs of it, or nearly eight gig, and uh, it's available on Mega Upload. I'll put a link in the description, uh, so the description's here, and uh, there'll be, yeah, where it says the cloned SD card with Ubuntu desktop is here. So if you click on that link, that should then start downloading. And uh, please let me know if it works. Um, it worked for me. Um, I haven't obviously tried to re-download the file I've uploaded, but I have tried that file and it flashed and it worked absolutely fine. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.